fuck could, could anyone, anyone be in love, love with such a hollow eggshell of a fucking human being? Like, someone like Booker, like, didn't even stand out amongst, like, the lip dick fucking bland white bread motherfuckers that were running for president. Like, he was... He's, he was black, and he was still one of the whitest fucking people running. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Yes. I, I mean, even down to, like, uh, those baby blues. But, you know, that's fine. On, on top of that, he's a, he's just a centrist, like, milk toast, fascist-enabling asshole. Like, the shit he's done. Hey, 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 hey now. Hey, hey now. Okay. We we we're not gonna try to bring up his uh, his his his, his uh, Achilles heel, okay? Oh, what you mean like buddying up with uh, fucking um, uh, Chris Christie, Chris Krispy Kreme, or uh, fucking or or uh, letting pharmaceutical companies have their way with his yeah with with New Jersey like. Or, or stifling Medicare for all. Like, the the guy deserves being a goddamn gulag. <laughs> hey, I mean, nothing new there when it oh. comes to uh, bourgeois politicians, you know what I mean? In, in, in the fact that Rosario Dawson, who was, like, a strong advocate for Bernie Sanders in 2016, managed to, like, fall for some piece of shit like that, just shows you these... How like these fake Hollywood liberals and how easily they and like how easily they just swing in the fucking wind. Like goddamn, do you have any fucking convictions at all? Um. Well, he he certainly was uh, virtue signaling and tripping over everyone's feet when we were looking at the uh, Senate debate for the fucking uh, confirmation of Amy Cunty Beretta. Amy Coney Island Beretta 50 cal. Well, I don't want to just steal okay, Tim Dillon's cal. bits. I want to go a step further. Amy Cunty Beretta. Oh no, he 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 did he didn't say Barrett 50 cal though. He just said Coney Island. All right, as long so, as you're uh, at, as long as you're continuing. Is, uh, my little uh, cherry on the top of the Sunday. Thank you very much. As long as you are continuing the fucking uh, tradition. As long as that goes on and you uh, add to the game of telephone and his, uh, or her, sorry, um, her fucking new moniker, proper moniker, grows in scale, grandiosity, and hopefully vulgarity as well, then you've done your part, yeah. sir. Also, I mean, to be fair, like, calling her Amy Cunty, like, that's like... That's like unironically calling someone like a libtard or a cunt conservative. It's like fucking low hanging, easy, and it's it's. I know. I'll have we'll have none of that cheap, like lazy material on this show. I don't know. I kind of feel like that's what she merits. Like she merits as good of treatment via the fucking um, parodies um, or whatever we make like of her. An excuse to me. Yes, and she isn't worth. She isn't worth a good insult. The good swears. <laughs> we save those for the worthy ones, right? Only the worthy, the worthy. You guys need to chant along with me. Clearly, you didn't get the memo after me saying it one, one time. One of us. One was, of uh, us. I was taking a drink, so. Inexcusable. Just like Cory Booker having a hot girlfriend. I mean, come on. We all know that she's just his beard anyway. Let's get real. <laughs> oh. You know that he has... You know what? Cory Booker's the kind of guy who would fuck or get fucked by guys who look like him. So you know that he's like rubbing some other bald guy's fucking chrome dome every night. Oh yeah. Uh I am Senator Cory Booker. Um ha, could you give it to me in the rear end, please? Ha, ha. I am a Democrat after all. Ha ha. 
I like to take it up the ass from Republicans. I find this to be very pragmatic. <laughs> he, he talks like a more excited version of Ted Wasana song, and that is amazing to me. Guys, I am just so excited. I have to talk like a TV announcer here to sell you a used car. Uh -huh. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Come down to Booker's Used Auto Mart. Speaking of uh, 